Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here today, back once again on R Factor 2, where I'm hitting up the IndyCar series. It's been a while since I've done an IndyCar video. So, today, Mid-Ohio 200, well, Mid-Ohio 170, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. For those that watch my videos will know that I sort of like to recreate races from the real life world. And this was one of the races that was supposed to take place in 2020, but got cancelled due to the pandemic. However, it did get rescheduled once the sort of IndyCar reschedule came out. Instead of just being one race on Sunday, they changed it to two sort of 170 mile races on Saturday and of course one on Sunday. Then it got postponed once again due to the fact that I think it was COVID cases were rising in Ohio. So who knows if this race will go ahead. One thing I know for sure is that there is no COVID in our factor two, so we can go ahead and run this race. 35 laps is the race distance. Setup wise, I've sort of spent quite a bit of practice this weekend because of the fact that it is just such a high deg track, I must admit. I'm gonna try and do it on two stops, but uh, well, of fuel wise, I can actually do it on one stop. But the thing is around here with the deg, I don't really want to go driving an unstable Indy car for like the second half of a, of a full fuel stint. So uh, not to mention, I think actually pace wise would be better if we just do it in two stops. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. God knows what the AI is going to do. They have a, well, as I've come to realize, they have a bit of a mind of their own when it comes to strategy. You know, the original R factor was they just, the AI ran to the end of the fuel tank and pitted then no matter how worn out the tires got but now it just seems on our factor two i don't know if it's this model or if it's just the game or the track but yeah the ai just seem to pit whenever they whenever they want to so yeah i don't know how many pit stops they're going to do but i have managed to put it on the pole had a pretty good qualifying session difficulty wise i've had to set the ai to 120 percent which is maxed out because for some reason this mod and i don't know why it is they always seem to have the a the sort of arrows just set to basically like a medium setting and a lot of the IndyCar tracks are high sort of downforce tracks where you need a lot of aero and so it means that I get absolutely demolished on the straights but I was demolishing them all through the corners so <laughs> I've had to up the uh, difficulty for that damage multiplier on max AI aggression 40% so yeah without any further ado I head off on this formation lap get these firestones nice and warm but not too warm all right green flag is out Turn one, quick left-hander, try and... Oh, no, not flat out on lap number one. Mind you, it's probably not going to be flat out for the entirety of this race because that right front really does take a beating into turn two. Try not to lock up that inside tyre. Good exit because this is where I struggle. This, well, it's not really straight, but as you can see, I have absolutely no straight line speed at all. Oh, my days. Just breezed on past me. I didn't think we were that slow. Uh, then this sector this is where sort of somewhat of a rhythm section I would say Ooh, bit of curb yeah the AI are much lower than us through here so I need to try and get a good final sector go you good thing Sticking the nose up there, but oh, okay. All right, I think we should send him into the pit lane. I don't know why he's done that. Oh, R fact 2 AI, mate. Something to behold. Big chop. Takuma Tomato. Come on, gotta get a good exit out of here. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, too much fucking steering. All right, screwed that up big time. Man, I am struggling for grip on these opening laps. I, don't, I thought the weather was the same. I mean, it just feels hotter. Like, the surface is really slick. Yeah. Not to mention, I am on a full fuel load as well, which changed the handling. It's always hard going straight from qualifying into a race with sort of resetting your brain. flags out someone's put it in the fence no safety cars in this race the AI do not know how to deal with them so look at that sheer wing angle that helps us get through there now you may have noticed that I have no overlay like what I usually do I'm just stuck with the 
R Factor 2 black box right now. And that is because, well, just getting this video to work and actually filming this, or recording this, I should say, has been an absolute nightmare. I had sort of three, three days ago, God, it's hard to English and drive. <laughs> three days ago, I went to just start this race, you know, join this session or whatever, and all of a sudden it crashed to desktop before I could even load in, and then I tried changing some of the video settings and ended up crashing before I could even sort of get into the games, crashing on startup, and uh, so I decided to just reinstall the game, you know, delete some of the mods I had, just because I think, you know, some of them may have you know, had an update or something to, to sort of screw over the game or something like that, and that didn't work. So I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to completely, you know, wipe the game from my PC and restart the entire thing or reinstall everything, which meant I lost all my setups, all my settings and everything, which was a massive pain in the ass, but it's the only sort of option I really had left, and yeah, it seems to be working somewhat now, although, as you can sort of tell, I am still having a few glitches. For example, I like to have the Steam sort of FPS counter in the top of the screen. That's now not showing up for some reason. Nor can I switch across, switch into the sort of Steam in-game tab or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, my uh, uh, Sim Hub let Sim Hub overlay is now not working either. So everything's going great. <laughs> yeah, it's taken me three days just to sort of film this video because I had a setup and then oh, that's not going well. And then went to save it and well I've saved it but I then lost it again so I've had to completely reset this car up because I couldn't remember what it was the first time around yeah no I'm struggling for grip here I must admit I don't know what's going on Just need to focus ahead try and get a good couple laps in There's just nothing but wheel spin off of there and now we're gonna be absolutely destroyed in a straight line He's just going to sit there and <laughs> stick with me. Thanks, mate. Oh, no big dive bomb. Yeah, the AI on r 2 are really not that good, to be honest. I actually like the Assetto Corsa Competizione, uh, Competizione AI the best. But anyway, on lap 5 of 35, so we have a long way to go. in seconds so not too bad I just want to get through this race to be honest I've we struggled on the road courses this year in IndyCar and Arfax 2 we have got a train of cars behind us that is for sure how's that right front looking 88 not too bad for now Yeah, unfortunately, the only sort of in-game... Because I, I can't use the HUD. The r Factor 2 HUD just screws with my head. So we've just got the sort of black box thing to go off of, unfortunately. Struggling for pace. Slow. Takuma Masado is getting away. Ooh, nailed that. That was good. So far, fast lap 108.2. I did a 1.6. 106.3, I think, in qualifying to put on the pole, which is around. Oh no, for fuck's sake, I hate those curbs. Yeah, it was around three tenths quicker than second, but I can't even get anywhere near that now. I mean, I full fuel load and whatnot it makes sense, but yeah, I'm hoping I have some strategy tricks up my sleeve that the AI <laughs> don't. 
need to get through this first stint, get to the first pit stop. Oh, just a tire lying on the ground. Fair enough. Yeah, man, it's nicht gut. Did get invited to race here once when I was living in the States driving, but uh, it fell through at the last minute, unfortunately. So I never did get to drive mid Ohio, but it would have been nice. Far out, man. It's just no drive whatsoever. Softened up the front uh, rear suspension to try help with that drive in practice and felt better, but obviously didn't have a, enough fuel on it. Or recreate the race scenario, but I'm just dropping like a fly here. Not to mention, this track's kind of funky. It has, like, concrete patches that you need to stay on. So you fall off of those, then all of a sudden you lose all grip. Oh, no, that's... Oh, jeez, that was going to end bad. Turn! See, they uh, missed it. And, uh, had no grip whatsoever. Man, I'm just... Yeah, I'm in trouble here. I'm... I just have absolutely no grip whatsoever. No idea why. It's really weird. Anyway, soldier on. Thank God I went for the two stopper. Oh my God, man. What is going on with this race car? I mean, I'm on the blacks as well. I mean, so in IndyCar, you actually have two sets of tyres. You can run the Firestone blacks or the Firestone reds, and I only really. Oh, that goes out. I only run the blacks because the AI don't know how to use the reds, so <laughs> they just stay on the blacks as well. I mean, most R Factor mods, I think, are designed for, like, leagues and whatnot. I think they're really designed for offline racing. Oop, someone's had a wreck. Struggling a big time, man. I think I maybe have overdone it with the wing angle. It's got, I've, I've basically maxed it out so it cannot go any higher than what it is. But I'm not actually gaining anything through the corners right now to make it sort of useful. Seriously thinking of pitting here in a sec. Be pitting early on this first stop. So I'm struggling. Some of the AI are actually coming in. Yep. There's a couple in now. Oh god, if I could hit the apex that'd be nice. Oh my god, Jesus. I almost ended, <laughs> ended up on the other side of the track. Man, I, I, how much, what, what lap are we on here? This is going from bad to worse. Yeah, sort of, I'm going to pit this lap. I'm struggling to no end right now. Oh, Jesus. Came out in the back of a serious pack of cars. Let's pit, get out of the way of this shit and... Try. Oh! Hello! See you later! <laughs> oh my god! What? Oh, no, no! 
far out. Man, that AI have just completely lost their minds. Just like absolutely lost their minds. What the hell is going on? Jeez, man. That was properly random. Alright. Well, we have a couple of cars DNF'd actually just judging off what's going on in pit road here, but far out. That was insane. Alright, so full fuel. Change these tyres. Go out. Let's see if we can just get some clean laps in. I think I may have used a little bit too much tyre on that first couple of laps as well. Not to mention I made about 50 million mistakes, but... Oh, man, this is going to be a long race. Oh, shit. Got a short Indy car stop, sir. Alright, let's go. Head down. No mistakes. Where are we? 16th. Well, we have pitted, I think. Quite a few of the AI are yet to pit. Alright, let's go. Alright, so just coming across the halfway point now. Currently sitting in 10th now that that sort of first pit cycle's all petered out. Three seconds behind Hunter Ray and slowly increasing the gap to Ray Hall behind, but yeah, managed to get some better laps in, but well off the pace still. I don't know where our race pace has gone, because it was alright in practice, but even better in qualifying now in the race. Just struggling. Just tire degradation is unreal. Yeah, this track is just so undulating. It's just up and down and bumpy. It's one of those real country cl uh, country club tracks in the States. It's very... It's got a very barber-like fi uh, final corner where you got to sort of come back across and it's on the verge of being flat out but not. <laughs> sort of got a lift. Pace is starting to drop off again. Uh, that's a double apex, but not that much of a double apex. Far out, man. She is squiggly. So I'm going to try and take it to lap number 22. Yeah, 22 before I pit. Oh my god, man. I'm making mistakes. Starting to catch up now. I've hit another brick wall on the tyre. Falling off a cliff here. Come on. Yeah, still a long way to go. traction. Once it hits that sort of turbo lag, or turbo sort of kicks in, it just wheel spins. Initial throttle input is sort of higher than what it should be. You'll spin out big time. Weights now, it's slow. Uh, marbles, marbles. So hard to hit that first corner apex, it's really blind as you sort of rise up into it. And it just comes out of nowhere. Unless you get that turning point absolutely perfect, you are gonna struggle. Uh, I've got guys behind me really starting to catch up now, so this is gonna be a, a tough end to this stint.
lap are we on? 21. Alright, not this lap, but the next lap. Just let him go on by. I don't have the pace right now to fight with him. Try and go one more lap or else that last stint will destroy it. Try and start out with that new tyre, a little bit softer front roll bar, hopefully extend the life a little bit. down. I gears, yeah. Final pit stop. Alright, come on. Let's do this tang. Actually, wait, no, I don't need that much fuel, don't need that much fuel, don't need that much fuel. Oh no, yeah, that's it, so, never mind. Tires and splash and dash and we'll be groovy. Oh, way too far. I <laughs> slid through it. Oh well. Oh, let's go. It's interesting. I actually only lost two positions in the pits. It's quite a large gap back to 13th. They so slow through there. Fucking out. Slow me up. Santino Ferrucci, of course. The guys are knob in the freaking virtual world as well. Oh, that's slid that through there. Come on. Man, it is hot in her. too early on these tyres, save a little bit for later. I just don't have the straight line speed to make a pass. Come on, 
10 laps to go. This has been an absolutely shocking drive for me today. Just make mistake after mistake after mistake. Oh, fucking hell, that's a curb. Oh my god. Wake up, bruh. Alright, so five laps just about to go, sitting in 11th, just have not had the pace to make up from the mistakes I made earlier on, I mean I've just driven this race so bad, it's embarrassing. I don't know what, what's going on, but we have some work to do. And I am driving on some new sort of force feedback settings, and been a sort of pain in the ass trying to get everything back to what it was. So I'm a terrible when it's come to uh, I'm terrible when it comes to backing up stuff. I should really back up my files, but yeah, so it's just not not been normal today, unfortunately. But still fun race nonetheless. So it's good to have a race in the IndyCar series on R Factor Two. Yeah work to be done between now and the next video. Softened up the roll bars even more than I planned to. The thing is to the point where it's sort of out the window that I usually go, but anyway. Definitely need to do more race runs in practice. Stop just trying to build a setup on new tyres. Seem to make a habit of doing that just because I don't <laughs> have the time usually, but. Oh well. Get this thing to the finish. Oh 
shit. Am I gonna... I swear to God, if I'm, a, if I'm gonna run out of fuel, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, no. no. I'm not gonna run out of fuel. I'm gonna hit the fence. Ah, oh, brilliant. 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 Oh, my God. Why do I do this to myself? Fucking three laps to go, Joseph. You are the ultimate knob. Oh, I give up. Ah, just... <laughs> wow. It's just... These curbs, man. These curbs. I mean, this track is from like 2012, 2013, but... At least I think it is, but yeah. Ah, oh, my days. Well, that's that, lads. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you in, well, enjoyed, for the most part, today's video. Links are in the description if you want to check out any of the mods I used in today's video. Definitely go check them out. I do like this uh, this indie car, even though you know, it's not the most realistic rendition. It is a load of fun. Uh, also, this Mid-Ohio is uh, it's all right, I suppose. It's got some funky curbs and whatnot, but because it's free, it's best or well, better than any, anything else you can find out there. So... Yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more IndyCar action throughout 2020. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Wow.